we're back on Stumpy again today. Um, it's a lovely sunny day. I can't see a thing. The sun glaring off a of Stumpy. But I think today we are going to turn her over and start on the top edge and the inside. Well, that's the inside. It's going to need a fair bit of work, a lot of sanding, a lot of scraping, and a bit of fiberglass, I think. All right, let's get on. Thank you. 
Uh, as you can see, the bottom is not in the best shape. Just scraping it all. So, what are you going to do? You're going to give it a sand? Yeah, we'll give it a sand down. Just get some of these last little bits of wood uh, off. And then I'll cut a new section to go in. Ooh, and what are you going to seal it in with? I'll uh, put a load of fiberglass glass underneath, squash it down. Mm. And then fiberglass glass around the edge. And a little bit of fiberglass glass up the top, I guess. Ready for well, sand. Yeah. So the rest of all this flaky. Yeah. Just flaky. Which is coming off easy. <laughs> yeah. A quick sand and a, over the top. It should be fine. Excellent. And what about the edges? They'll be fine. They're yeah. just going to quick sand as well. And then to uh, work out how to get it on the davits. Oh, that's easy enough. I'm not too worried about that. Good. There we go, it's all cut in. I'm just gonna go and grab some five glass and we'll get it stuck in as well.
So, as you've probably seen, he's got the new bit of floor in. Looks really good. Are you pleased with it? Yeah, just got to squeeze a bit of pipe glass down the edges. Uh, but I've run out of that tin. So, I think I've got another tin down there. Sorry, dog starts just, doing parkour around the boat trying to... Yeah, we've just chucked some ducks. bread out. <laughs> so he's like, where's the ducks? But no, it's been very hot today. It's been lovely. Oh my God, the dog. He just wants to get to the duck. Seriously, Dexter. Come on. Dex. Too interested in ducks. To you. About this way. But yeah, it's been a lovely day, very warm. Uh, Jason's been in and out, cooling off, watching Man United v Vans Man City. Yeah. There'll be a lot of people who don't want to talk about that, probably. Uh, but yeah, so that has been what we've done today, or what Jason's done today. Yeah, we'll get a little bit more done. Square a little bit more in there today as well, if I've... Uh... I've got some. If I don't end up taking the dog to the vet where he's cut his foot open on something. Crazy. <laughs> he hates ducks and swans. Well, I bet he loves them. <laughs> Taste wise. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Go, Mr. Ducky. Has <laughs> he eaten all the bread that we chucked? Well, it's either gone. Yeah. Probably out the front part there. But yeah, so... Yeah, well at least that should be a bit stronger, 18 mil. Yeah, a bit thicker than what they put in. Yeah. yeah. Then all we need is an outboard that works. Yeah, that'll be in my, one of my next jobs, is screwing that down properly and getting it working. That might have to be a Sunday job because I think we're getting to that point where we should start thinking about fiberglass and deck. Yeah. I'll have to uh, start saving for fiberglass and, and more wood uh, and start start on the decks again. Mm. Hopefully we can get the last bit of decks done this year and fingers crossed the hole in the side. Yes. That's the aim for the year I think anyway. Well until we can get Stumpy off the back we can't... Oh, talk to me like that. <laughs> <laughs> we can't sand the good bit of deck out here down again and we can't get the mats up so stumpy is the priority at the moment so i think we'll uh, sign it off for today there yeah i think so right so today is bank holiday monday afternoon um we've done a lot of running about this morning because we're selling the smart car people are like we want to come and see it and then half of them are stuck in traffic <laughs> or they go well, they just don't bother replying, well, you know. running around, getting all the stuff ready and then... Yeah. Nothing. So, we didn't do anything yesterday because obviously we needed to make a noise, didn't we, Jace? On the... Definitely on need to make a noise. Dumpy. And of course, on Sundays we can't make any noise, so not a lot was done yesterday, but... Oh, man, that took her out Dexter for a little walk. Yeah. Um, so we had a nice relaxing day off. And then today we was going to do Stumpy, but yet again, the great British bank holiday weather <laughs> is sunshine and extremely yeah. heavy downpours. There's other ideas today. So we have decided to clean the bilges. Yeah, <laughs> I had this wonderful idea of taking the stairs up and pulling all the cans of diesel out and the floor in the engine room and cleaning all the bilges because they are yeah there's nothing it's mainly rusty water and just general dirt that's washed in from the sides of the boat and stuff like that there's no oil in it and or anything it's just mucky water and if you remember a very long, long time ago in previous videos, God, this has got to be right at the beginning, we did clean the front, the front yeah. bilges. But the engine room, where it's had battery boxes and cans 
of diesel resting on it you couldn't really get to it so now I thought well, I'll lift up lift everything up and have a go at cleaning it <laughs> it may last about five minutes and then go no no he's gonna sink us <laughs> <laughs> yeah so just need to be able to see what we're doing um it's difficult yeah we, we do because sometimes it does get a little especially when it's been dry <sighs> or wet you get a little whiff of yeah i mean it's it's a, it's it's mainly just debris that's clogged yeah. it up and although when it rains and we have leaks from different places it all goes into the bilge and the water runs all the way down to the um, bilge pumps and gets thrown out so there's no oil or diesel in it or anything like that but it's just residue from years and years of not being dealt with leaks and not yeah. being cleaned yeah so and bits of rotten wood that have disintegrated not boat wood but it's got like a wooden slats on the floor um, to walk on and they've disintegrated and then you've got cast iron um, knees and bits and pieces that have rusted a bit and generally stuff like that so it just needs a, a hose out yeah so but hopefully next weekend is looking good for weather so we can get back on stumpy get that done and on the back of the boat yes and then it may well start to be well if we ever stop getting any rain showers <laughs> or some summer back on the deck yes yeah, the trouble you just need a full day or for two full days of dry weather with no showers because the second you start fiberglass in something or paint a tank outside it starts raining yeah so it just seems like you never get around to so we're starting. hunting for little jobs at the moment around the boat that we can that need doing yeah and of course once all that's clean and tidy in there i can get to start the engines and stuff like that oh god <laughs> We're not, I told you, once we've done the hole in the side of the boat, you can go down there, I'll lock you in there, and you can tinker. You'd lock me in there quite happily at any time. Yeah, you can tinker away with the engines. God, that's going to be a whole nother. Jeez. Right, on with the bilges. So this is the state of the engine room. Haven't really touched much down here since we bought the boat really. We put the diesel heaters in, one of which is over there. And the water tank, which is there. And that is about all we've done. But this is the mess that is under the wood in the bilges nothing really down there apart from a bit of sawdust a bit of water and a bit of muck so i'm going to take these boards up and then hopefully try and give it a bit of a clean. Right, so there is all of the wood out and that is what we have left. What a beautiful mess. Good thing is once it's cleaned up, it will look like brand new. There's, apart from the, uh, the uh, steel straps across, They'll need a bit of a clean up and a treat. But the rest of it will come up nicely. We hope. As long as you don't find a hole. Yeah, that's right, I've stick my finger in the hole if I find one.
And you can see how clean it comes up. Just got to let the uh, water flow away. So you can see what's happening. Lovely. Looks a bit cleaner. You'll have to excuse our uh, videoing because obviously I can't <laughs> get down there. Jason's busy with the hose and the brush and I'm filming upside down. <laughs> up from the wheelhouse. Yes. So we have a blockage halfway in between each build. I say each build, sort of in the middle where uh, things got a little stuck so I've been emptying the bilges as Jason's been uh, rinsing so we're just going to pull some debris out the way and hopefully it will unlock but yeah it's uh, all coming out and looking nice and clean so it's looking a lot clearer still not perfect but then again it's an old boat and I'm only cleaning it. Um, it's gradually going. The wood looks very good underneath, as far as I can see. You just have to keep unblocking all the little holes for the water to run through to the bilges. But yeah quite happy at the moment right so I think where we have the bilge pumps that are right the way down there they're by that opening I don't think is the lowest part of the boat I think the lowest part of the boat is around here so this water or just isn't draining to those front bilge pumps. So I guess I'm going to have to install a couple more bilge pumps up this end, which is no problem, so more the merrier. So I think until we get some bilge pumps this is probably as good as it's going to get which is a huge improvement on what it was mm. 